in my I want to bring office. in John Pistorino, a longtime structural engineering consultant who's been retained by an attorney yeah. to investigate this collapse in Surfside. He has investigated similar situations across the country. It's good to have you here. You just heard what the mayor had to say. Four more bodies have been recovered, being bringing the total number of victims found to 16, John, but 147 unaccounted for. And the way the mayor put it is that they're looking for answers. The families want answers. Where do you even begin when you're starting an investigation like this to find those answers? Well, I noticed that they now have large uh, dump trucks picking up the pieces and taking them over someplace for identification. And that's uh, part of the process, looking at the whole history of the building, the design of the building, all the information that will be coming up available, previous reports and all that. And then as the team goes in, the evaluation team, identifying each of the elements as, as is taken out in critical locations and put in places, sort of reconstructed. And all the experts, all the engineers have a chance to look at what we call the mode of failure and to identify where the actual failure might have occurred. We also have to go underground with geotech uh, in, in information to see the conditions of the soils and some kind of what we call GPRs or sonar, radar, to look at any conditions underneath the building that might have uh, created the, uh, the collapse. So there's a whole protocol that's set up. Many engineers will be involved, but the idea of the engineering community is that we're looking for an answer and we all share our, our expertise and the information we have to come to a consensus about really what happened here. Well, you're the guy who has been described as literally writing the book on uh, Florida, building codes and inspections. When you talk about the mode of failure, is it too early to focus in on one or even two things? Where, where could you be only seven days into this? Absolutely. All the information I see coming out and all the ideas is right now is just pure, I want to say, speculation. You can't really come to any conclusions until you really start the full investigation and get into the nitty gritty. Yes, I wrote the 40 year recertification uh, program that was being utilized here, but it's intended that people who own buildings start to maintain them as soon as they build. You don't wait 40 years and then start looking around to see if there's a problem with your building just because we have a Dade County has an ordinance in place. This is something that's ongoing. So all that stuff would be considered as part of the overall evaluation. But in these early days, is there anything that stands out to you as maybe not just warranting further investigation, but a focus? No, as I said, I think all the information that's coming out really would be considered, but nothing really, I, I really uh, don't want to comment on any of the issues right now. I think it's premature and it might be misleading.